Let's take a look at a bubbler system, and we're going to use it to determine the water level, whether it's in a well or in a, uh, in a tank. And in order to do that, we just have a, a pump, and then we pressure gauge. Uh, we have a needle valve and a, a rotometer here that just uh, we can control the flow of air into the, uh, this dip tube down in here. And then we have a, uh, a transducer. In this case, I'm using a 4 to 20 milliamp transducer, 0 to 5 psi. Uh, at 0 to 5 psi, that'll get a, a tank of water that's about, uh, you know, 11 uh, foot tall. And so if you need to, if, if it's the wells deeper than that, then you need to have a higher psi uh, transducer. Now, the, the air goes down to the bottom of the, uh, the, the system here, and the, uh, this water here is going to create a pressure on this tube here, and we're going to read that pressure here. Now, if a column of water one foot tall has a pressure of 0.433 psi, okay? And a column of water one inch tall has a pressure of 0 0.03609 psi, okay? So we can use that pressure to determine the, uh, the height of the water, the level. Now, for our uh, transducer over here, it's a, these run off of 12 volts, so I'm, I'm putting 12 volts into the uh, positive into the red lead on the transducer, and then out of the other side of the transducer, I go across a, a 250 ohm uh, resistor here. And then we have a, a 10K here just to limit the current and a, a, a little uh, um, capacitor across there just to smooth it out a bit. Now, if I put 4 milliamps into a 250 ohm resistor, I get 1 volt out, okay? And if I use 20 milliamps into 250 ohm resistor, I get uh, 5 volts, okay? Now, at 4 milliamps, I have a 10 foot analog here. So it's from 0 to uh, 1023, and it, at 1 volt, it's going to read 204, okay? And at 5 volts, it's going to read 1023. Now, to get to 204, I just cross-multiplied. I, I took 5 uh, over 1023 and 1 volt over N, cross-multiplied, and, and calculated it out. It's 204. Now, 5 PSI in inches is equal to 138 inches, 138.6 inches. And we want to do this in inches, so I'm using that. Now, what we do here is we take our 1023 and we subtract our, our 204 from that, and that gives us 819. Now, we take our 819, our span, and we divide that into our 136.6, 138.6, okay? And it gives us this factor here that we can use to determine the, uh, the height of the water. So, now over here in our Arduino sketch here, we have, uh, we're going to do it with float. So we're going to float inches and float readings so we get decimals. And then we're going to set up as just serial begin. We're going to look at it at the uh, serial monitor on the, on the computer. And then all we need here is uh, readings here is going to be equal to the analog read on A0. And readings are equal to readings minus the 204. And then inches are going to be equal to the readings times 0.16993, our, our factor over here. And we're going to still print that, and then we're going to delay by, by, two, by two seconds, okay? Now, if you want, you could just map it. You can use the map function where you would uh, map um, 204 to 1023 and then uh, 0 to 138.6. But when you map, it's integers only. There's no, uh, no float values, no, uh, no decimals in it. So you'll just get inches or feet. So, and in some cases, that would, that would be fine. I wanted to be a little bit more accurate, so we're going to do it this way and get our, our decimal places in there. Uh, this, these uh, 4 to 20 milliamp transducers, they can be expensive, but you can use a, uh, one of these sensors here from, uh, you'll see them Ardu advertised for Arduinos here. It's uh, 40 kPa, and that's uh, 5.8 psi, and you need a little uh, op amp here to, to increase it, but there's... Uh, code there that uh, on on the line that'll show you how to use these guys if you want to if you want to go that route so that's uh that's how we're going to uh we're going to try this out now i've got a um i've got a setup here on my on my bench here and i'm going to show you how it, how it works up there and then i'll show you the uh this the uh, computer screen so all right let's let's go over there all right here we are at the workbench 
This is a uh, our pressure gauge. It's a uh, in millimeters of mercury right now, and it's reading about uh, 22 or so. That's about a foot of water. And this is the rotometer, a little uh, needle valve on the bottom, and you can adjust the the flow rate in there. There's a little ball in there. You probably can't see it. And uh, a lot of times the uh, this could be in a well in a tank where you couldn't see the actual bubbles coming up. So uh, this just tells you uh, that that air is flowing into the tank. And then we have our uh, 4 to 20 milliamp uh, transducer over here, uh, 0 to 5 psi. And then our container of water, it happens to be a little over a, a foot of water in that in that container there. And so we'll go over to the uh, the computer and we'll see if we can actually uh, measure that and see what it is. Thank you. Here's the uh, Arduino setup. Now this one here, I have an internal power supply in here that gives me my 12 volts for the transducer and 5 volts for the Arduino. But I'm just using the uh, serial monitor here to test it. So um, I'm just I'm running a separate uh, power supply to the transducer and not using this one because uh, I don't want to have a conflict with the two voltages in the uh, on the Arduino here from the my computer and the uh, internal power there. Now you need you need to have five volts. This thing's all uh, designed with uh, you know zero to five volts, and in this case this and in my COM port here on my computer, I'm only getting uh, 4.75 volts, so I had to adjust this, this figure down here to, uh, to get my uh, correct reading. So I'll, uh, I'll go over, I'll give you a screenshot of the uh, uh, monitor and see what we have. So here we go.